the other day I was driving and uh, I was going to do a job. It's about an hour from home, so I went went to town the opposite direction I needed to go and got fuel. It's about seven miles. Come back, um, stopped at my house and um, can't remember I had to grab something. But anyways, after I took out of the house and got down to the highway a couple blocks and took off and I heard a noise coming from the turbo. It sounded like um, it sounded like a water hose gushing underneath the hood and my uh, turbo was acting kind of funny so um, I continued on because uh, it was still working and everything but I noticed the pressure had kind of dropped on the turbo a little bit well quite a bit I don't even think I was getting 10 10 psi on it at all and so I made it to my destination and was there did the job was leaving and uh, I was going to get back on the interstate, but I needed to get over in the left lane, so I had to, to gas it a little bit. And when I did, that gushing sound um, just got really bad, and then all of a sudden it just popped. And it made a pretty, it made a, I don't know, it made a pretty loud boom from it. And I, I lost power, of course. It's the motor stalled. And then so I pulled up to the left light, and um, was going to get on the interstate. Pulled on out and was going up the ramp and it did it again and this time the engine stalled and the turbo was gone completely so I, I figured it was related to a hose so I drove on to my destination by the way if you don't have turbo on this is Ford 6.7 power stroke it's it's horrible there's no acceleration at all I mean you gotta have that turbo and to pull that truck around just just the truck itself it drove fine and everything, um, though I wanted to make sure it wasn't something with the turbo. It wasn't. It was the intercooler hose had, had busted. So I remembered I had this rub. This is what this is: is rubber roofing patch, and I used this. It's got a little film on the back side. I peeled this off of the gray side and stuck it over the. Um, over the hole which is was about like this long and it was just a slit all the way down that boot um, not all the way down but the length of the of the slit and, you know it was like it was like three inches I guess well in comparison here it's probably it's probably about like this long yeah so this is the this is what I used here and this is where it busted at it's right it's right about up in here and comes on down here. Let's see if I can feel it. Actually, it's right here. It's right here and, and down this way. So I just I pulled peeled the backing off of it and then stuck it down on there really good, best I could, and uh, and used two zip ties together. So I did that five times there. I got ten zip ties on it holding it together. And actually, uh, I've gotten seen 20 psi on the turbo. So it's actually better than it was before it blew out. So I'm, I'm assuming there was a hole in it already, probably up here where this, where this boot wrinkles together. Um, it's got a rib on it there. And I'm guessing it started as a hole right there. Um, it was started to make that gushing sound that sounded, I mean, like I said, it sounded like a water hose under, underneath here. And I think that's where it started and then it finally just, just blew open right here but I don't know I didn't see it beforehand so I can't really say but this little patch is held up pretty good so until I get the new hose in um, I'm having to make this work and I'm just taking it easy on it but like I said I've seen 20 psi no problem and this thing is holding together good and I figured it would be alright because it's meant for it to be on a rubber roof so it should be able to take a lot of heat uh, and there's hot oil, I think, that circulates through this inner cooler, and and I think that's the the weak point of the the hose here is that hot oil gets on there and then it cools down, dries up or whatever, it doesn't dry up but it cools down and then hot oil back on again. So it makes these hoses, I think, makes them weaker. Yeah, you know, at a certain point. But this patch worked out all right. I mean, I don't think it'll work just anywhere, but. For this part of the hose it worked out and I'm kind of happy because I've uh, got places I need to be and nobody has the hose so or even I don't know if this is a two-piece or what 
all I really need is this one, but nobody has it. So hopefully this video will come in handy for somebody. Um, it is possible to, to fix it up, as you see.